everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome back to my channel and to a Thursday night thrifting adventure. <laughs> Welcome if you're new, you picked a good night because we are going to go shopping. We spent the day, me and my mom, at the Goodwill. Um, we went to the Akron Goodwill where on the one side there's a outlet store, so a bin store, and then on the other side there's a retail store. So Tuesday, I shared a rather large bins haul. If you missed that, I will link it up here and you can go check it out later. And tonight we're actually gonna go on a shopping trip and then I will share um, the haul from the retail side. So without further ado, let's go shopping. I started here in this brass section on an end area and I've been really um, buying a lot of brass lately. <laughs> I'm not really intending to. I'm trying to slow down my brass um, purchases unless they're really special. I did like the looks of that dish, but it was very worn on the edges. And I like the looks of this, but for $3, I passed. And I think those were a couple of bucks each, but again, not that special. This, however, I thought was really cute. And even for $3, I thought, you know, I'm not gonna leave that here. I keep finding lots of brass. <laughs> this is a clip that you can put on the wall, or you could probably put it on a surface. It would be great for like notes or something. And it looks like these sell in the $15 to $18 range. I will show you some comps. Very cute, looks like a little maybe Canadian goose. I love it. So I checked out the holiday section over here and I really didn't see anything too quality. Found better things over in the bins. <laughs> so definitely go check out that video. I did see this piece down here and it looked like it was kind of new. Still had some of its original packaging on it. And it had a very kind of Lennox look to me, so I wanted to investigate. But I noticed pretty quickly that the handle that was supposed to be on top was missing. Now, if it was there, I would have grabbed this because I think there was about a $20 profit in it. But no, I had to leave that. And over here, I regret not grabbing this. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Um, I think it probably would have been nice to put in the shop in our quickly growing coffee cup corner, <laughs> but I have to keep in mind that if it appeals to me and my nerdy nature, that it probably will to somebody else too. Um, sometimes I just kind of think, oh, I probably just like that. <laughs> the baskets and the wood sections were kind of a disappointment today. Now I'm over in the kitchen area and this canister set was nice, especially for $15. That was pretty but modern. And this was kind of cool. I was surprised when I looked underneath this that it was made by Bath and Body Works. And I think there was some condition issue on it. I don't remember what, but... I passed on it and then I saw this really big tall vase. There was a lot of clear glass here on this day and a lot of older pieces, some cut glass, some pressed glass, pretty things. And I didn't record going through all of it, but I did check it all out. I did not grab anything. Prices on the things that I liked were a little high. This piece, they wanted $4 for it. This is a Galileo thermometer. I have one of these on my kitchen um, windowsill and I enjoy it. I put it in the cart to ask mom if maybe she wanted one. Um, but the price is there. I would say on a pre-owned version that size, probably only $10 or $12. Uh, I probably could have taken it over to the shop, but still the profit on that was um, kind of low. So I ended up putting it back on the shelf. Now we're going to come back to these. Thought these were cute, but I kind of thought, oh, there's only two of them. I don't know. There was some nice things. There were some pictures and things that I definitely checked out. And then I saw this piece. Now, this is a fairy lamp. I'm sure most people know what this is. 
I do pick these up if I see them and they're cheap. They have gone down in value quite a bit. I think the market just got completely flooded with them. And this is a clear piece, so not extremely desirable. Um, every time I get these, I check out where the glass connects because they get slammed around a lot and I tend to see chips in them. But this one was in good condition, so I grabbed it. Fairy lamps have been outrageously popular for at least two years now. Um, I think they're probably kind of on their way out, but some people are still collecting. Um, so I do see some clear ones selling on eBay still, and it looks like probably in the 10 to $15 range plus shipping. This is made by Indiana Glass. This one is in beautiful shape. There's no chips or cracks, and I'm probably going to put it at the shop. At the shop, I could probably ask a little bit more since there's no shipping involved but I probably won't. I'll probably keep it about $12. I didn't see anything in the figurines today that really spoke to me, but I did have to backtrack over to those glasses that I showed you and grab them because when I came around this side, mom had found a couple more. She was showing me the mark on them, which I didn't recognize, but now that we had four, I was definitely interested in these pretty little glasses. These are pretty great. They are vintage drinking glasses. They really need cleaned, but look at the graphics on them. These have not seen a dishwasher. Now, I do not buy and sell a lot of glasses. Um, the ones that I have bought and sold, I've actually been lucky and I've sold them to friends. I have not had to ship them. So I'm usually a little careful about what I select. These are really nice quality glasses. They have some weight to them and I'm really not afraid to ship these. I do not know who made these, but they are well marked. So if you recognize this mark, it looks like a big M. Please share with the rest of the class. I'm guessing I'm gonna get probably, I'll probably make about 20 bucks. I'll probably list them around 22, 24, and they should sell for that. I was checking out this little case right here and mom pointed out these two jewelry displays and for $3 a piece, I thought, yeah, that's probably a good deal and I might as well grab them. If you were to go and buy these at Michael's or some other place, you're going to spend at least twice, probably more, probably closer to seven or eight dollars. Um, but yeah, to get a couple of them for six dollars is great. I will add them to the shop because I do have more bracelets <laughs> that I could take over there. On this end, they always have green things and I love green things. So I checked out uh, some of these. Um, this was a little yellow fish. He had a really cool look to him. I liked him. He had a little bit of damage and he did not look old. So I just noticed he's frowning too. Poor guy. Liked the shape of this bowl and loved the color. Um, but for $4, I really didn't uh, think that was a great deal. There were some nice older planters in here that I checked out too. Here's one back here. I'm really kind of limiting myself on planters. I bought so many about a year ago and I've probably only sold maybe half of them. I love the shape and coloration of this piece and this pot, but you can see the damage there. It was unfortunate. They were also very light too. Now we're checking out the blankets and things and I spotted this Afghan Loved the colors, loved the like heavy yarn that they used. So we pulled this out so I could check it out. The only thing I didn't like about it, it was very narrow. So it was long, but it was narrow. And I hemmed and hawed on this for a while. But then I spotted this <laughs> and I thought this was fun. So I did grab this one. We didn't know what it was. We pulled it out, opened it up, and then realized it, it literally says Federal Bureau of Investigation, and that's pretty cool. It's made by Blanket the World, 
and it looks like it retailed for about $40. It's in beautiful condition. I think I can probably on eBay get, you know, somewhere between $20 and $30 for it. So that was a cool find. It's one of those things that, you know, you never know what's going to be on a throw until you kind of open it up. Now, right in the same aisle by the blankets across the way are some toys. And I turned around and spotted this nesting doll piece here. It is the Little Mermaid. And Mom and I went through and checked to see if all the pieces were there. Let me show you how cute this is. This is pretty wonderful. I haven't seen the movie in a very long time, but I remember I loved it. I loved all the Disney, old Disney animations. I picked this up for $3. And it looks like these were, they're not like certified or regulated by Disney. I think they're painted overseas. And you can probably order about any movie. The only thing that I like about this one, I'm finding that most of them are like five nesting dolls. This one has six and the actual painted characters are done really well. I've seen some other ones listed where I'm not sure who is drawing them, but hmm, they didn't have the skills that this person did. So yeah, these are all hand painted and I will share them with you. They're pretty great. We have Ariel, and I think that's Flounder, right? I don't know if I'm going to get all the names right. <laughs> like I said, I haven't seen it in a while. I think this is King Titan, her dad. And then in him is the evil Ursula. <laughs> she was pretty great. And then inside of her, we have this bird. I don't remember his name. He's cute. His head's on crooked here. <laughs> He's cute. Inside of him, we have, wasn't his name Sebastian, the little crab? Isn't he the one that was like under the sea? <laughs> and then finally, this tiny little guy, and he's a little starfish. So... I loved finding this for $3. I thought that was a great deal. It looks like another set with the five in it um, sold for about $30, if I remember right. I'll put the information on screen. Because this one has six characters in it, I might be able to get a little bit more. But, I mean, honestly, I would be happy with 30. That's 10 times my money. So, that was a pretty good find. Now we're over in the metal works and I saw some cute things over here, including these flamingo hooks. And I couldn't believe how really nice quality they were. They had such a nice weight to them. And yeah, for that price, I grabbed them both. Really nicely made, very heavy um, wall hooks. I love that there's two. I think they would look great on a wall together. They were $2 a piece, which is awesome. I'd probably ask somewhere between $36 and $38 on eBay, and I will keep them together. Still over here in the metals, and checked out a few more things. That was a piece of brass. It was very light. Now I see some darker metal pieces, some black metal pieces. And I noticed these little cast iron pieces and they're very cute. There's two of them. So I grabbed these as well. I'm surprised these didn't go home with my mom <laughs> because as soon as I found them, she was like, oh, those look like they belong in my farmhouse. They are really cute. They have a nice weight to them. They are like a wrought iron cast um, tea light holder. One is a chicken or yeah, it's a chicken. Could be a rooster. And then one is a cow. I got them for a dollar a piece and it looks like I can't find this one. It looks like there's a couple of these listed and they're listed. I want to say 18 or $19. So for the set, I mean, I would be pretty thrilled to get that for the set, you know, maybe a little over 20 bucks and I'll list them together. I think they'll sell together pretty well. 
Now there's a brown section here where I usually find some good pottery. I saw this, I think that was meant to hold a candle, but I wanted to check out the pottery. It turns out that it's modern. It's probably a home goods type of piece. I did like it, but I passed on it. And then up here behind this box, I spotted these. And this is one of those things that it's just kind of an incredible little find. Like the, the, the example of something that I find that I say, you just never know what you're going to find at a Goodwill. This is it. Like a little treasure. Are they? These are incredible. I need to re-glue them because they're actually not fastened inside there. But that makes it easy for me to show you how detailed these are. So let me take them out and show you them. By the way, I paid $3. And you can see there's some glue marks on here. So whoever built this little display built it so that they could sit up like that. And the glue has just, you know, come loose here. Look at these. So on the back, there's this little tiny tag that says, no one can fill your shoes. And they look like little work boots. And look at them. Hand carved. They actually have little shoelaces in them. They're so beautiful. On the other side of the tag, it says 83. So it looks like they were carved in 83. There is a name carved on the bottom of this. It looks like it might be Crane, C-R-A-N-E. So that might be the artist's name. I just saw that, that's awesome. I don't know, they would make an excellent Father's Day present. What a wonderful little treasure, right? I see these quite a bit. I had to show this one to my mom because it was so ginormous. But she had found something of her own, and it was much better. <laughs> Look at this whole bag full of beautiful beaded and sequined boxes. Five dollars. I think there's eight of them in there. And I thought that was a fantastic deal. So we got these. Mom spotted these, and I think they're awesome. Somebody over the years must have collected these. They were filled with chocolates or some little treats. They are so stinking cute. They are beaded and sequined and there are a bunch of these. I picked up the whole bag for $5. That makes them less than a dollar a piece, which is great. So you saw this one, then there's this one. Look at the detail on him. And then there's this one and this one, whole standing up Santa. Here's Santa in the shape of a star. Here's Santa with his toy sack. And then here's a cute little like Christmas house. I think they're adorable. I think they were a wonderful grab because I feel like I can put, you know, between three and five dollars on them at the shop, this would make a great little small gift box, you know? Can you imagine maybe some jewelry or something little in these? And how fancy would that be? There are eight of them, so think about it this way. If I got even $3 a piece, that's $24, which is a pretty good flip. But I'm probably going to do a little bit better on some of these. So and that's great when I got them all for 5 bucks. Mom had pointed out this pretty vase up here, and I did check it out. It was modern. This was neat with the blue inside. Again, a lot of pottery over here and I checked all of it out. You won't see it all on camera. There was some nice things. This by far was one of the nicest. It is a hand signed piece um, that I will show you here in a second. But the prices were awesome on this set and I snagged them for sure. These are done by a potter named Jonathan Kessler. They are artist signed and dated. 
and they're fantastic. I have been on his website. This is not a current pattern that he shows on his website. Yeah, it's $19.99, so this is probably a pattern that's a little bit harder to find. Um, he is still working. He's been a potter for 40 years, so there's a lot of his stuff out there, and some of it is pretty pricey. Um, some of the bigger pieces. I have not found a teapot out there yet. Maybe by the time I put this video together, I will have one so you can see a comp. But this was only $2. I actually just realized that it has a sticker on both sides. <laughs> one side says three and one side says two. So I'm not exactly sure what I paid for this, but either of those prices is good by me. I only paid a dollar for this one, so... I either have a $3 or a $4 set of signed artist Jonathan Kessler pieces, and that's fantastic. My sister's probably gonna wanna steal these from me, but hmm, we'll see about that. <laughs> I might hold on to them for a while. I've decided to clean off some shelves in my office and make a backdrop of pottery. So she's not gonna be the only one collecting pottery now, which might make her a little sad. <laughs> but she'll get over it. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? They do have a very kind of Christmassy look with the green and the little red. I love them. I saw this up on the top shelf in front of my mom and I said, please grab that. Please grab that. <laughs> I could tell there was something missing here, but I wasn't sure I cared. $6 seemed like a lot too, but this came with me. When I spotted this up on that top shelf, it was like one of those, you know, angel singing moments. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just, it, it checks off all my boxes. It is pottery. It has this beautiful design, um, kind of folk arty, kind of boho. I just, I said, mom, oh my gosh, grab that. <laughs> it turns out that this is made by Goebel. And it was $6. It's actually signed 1985. And it has the artist's signature on it as well. And it is busted. It should have a pewter cap on it, you know, like, like you would expect with a stein. So it was one of those, like, do I really spend $6 on something that's broken? Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. This is a soft metal, it's pewter, and I can actually move it a little bit on here. So I'm thinking that I can get this piece off without busting it, get this piece removed. It just needs a little bit of heat maybe and some sort of sharp tool. It looks like one of these sold in auction, of course, with the top for about 60 bucks in 2015. I don't know where the value of these has gone, I do see that they have other mugs that, I think there's one in the Lord's Prayer, it doesn't have the top, it just has a small handle up like, you know, it's built kind of like this. Um, those go for pretty good money. This, broken, I don't know. Um, if I do get the metal off and I at some point decide to sell it, I'm probably gonna be in the 40 to $50 range just because it is stunning. And it's in beautiful condition minus the missing lid. Tell me what you think about this piece. Would you have saved it for $6? Did I make a mistake? All right, everybody, that is it. That is the haul. I think we did pretty good. It was an amazing day. I had so much fun with my mom. She has such a great eye. She picked up these glasses and she does this all the time. And she goes, well, these are vintage. And I'm like, mom, those are beautiful. Give them, give them. <laughs> She second guesses herself all the time, but she finds a lot of the stuff. Um, so I'm really happy to have her set of eyes when we're out thrifting. Thanks for coming along with us. If you're still with me at this point in the video, you already know this. I love you the most. Um, if you're still here and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It helps my channel grow. And then if you can, just click the little alarm button and it'll tell you when I put up a new video, which happens a couple of times a week. While you're clicking around, click over there on the little like or the dislike. I don't care, you choose. And then leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you saw that uh, we picked up or maybe something that we didn't pick up. 
um, or just say hello. And then the biggest thing you can do is share my channel. Tell somebody who might also like thrifting or treasure hunting or is a reseller that you found a new friend and tell them to subscribe because that will help us build this Yoso Boho tribe. Yes, I rhymed that. I'm getting good at that. <laughs> All right, everyone, please take care of yourselves. I will see you next week.